Welcome back to Fort Moore, guys. How is everybody today? So I know I'm a slack and I get the videos out, but I'm going to continue my how to counter series. And my thought process behind it is everybody's the big boys are doing GL videos, how to beat them, etc. So I want to do something that's more feasible. I keep hearing how Darth Vader will uh, counter the Geonosian solo, which is a yes, it's feasible, it's possible, but it's a crock. Don't fall for the crock. If you want to make sure it's a lock instead of a crock, watch what we're doing today okay i like to focus on the the other lower accounts for the most part my highest account is 4.8 my lowest is 1.2 so we're gonna go ahead and use my 1.21 because on my other two accounts my vader just got to relic and i wanted to show you guys outside of relic how it works all right uh, relic 7 vader supposedly can counter uh, the geonosians but the higher the geos get the less likely that's going to happen all right so let's give it a whirl you guys can't see it right here, but this is 81K Double Zeta uh, Brute Alpha. And uh, what I like to utilize is Emperor Palpatine because it allows Vader to take a second turn instantly under his leadership. And then I like to throw in Thrawn as a safety valve. You can do it without Thrawn, but he, is, he pretty much makes it a lock. I also like Tarkin in this lineup. And I don't have a good fourth, unfortunately, on this small account. But we're going to go ahead and do it with these four. All right. And then I'll, I'll run I'll run you through the process. So again, Palpatine, Vader, Thrawn, obviously for the fracture, and then Tarkin's in there because he removes turn meter, which is can be clutch. I've had it save me a couple of times. It's not a guaranteed win every time. But these four, pretty much is. If you got a really tough Gene Ocean team, I would throw in like a Shore Trooper, something along that line. But we'll go ahead and four man this team. All right, my Vader's gonna go first. He gets extra speed from the uh, from the Empire and such. So let's go with the Force Crush first under Palpatine lead, and then we'll go to Merciless Massacre. Now you see, we just pulled Spy out of Stealth because I've got the second Zeta, uh, the bottom Zeta for uh, Darth Vader. So, but if you don't have that, it's okay. You could still do this without pulling him out of Stealth. Now, keep in mind when you go after the Brute, he's got the Taunt up. And in order to keep your Merciless Massacre still going, you're going to have to target off of somebody else. It doesn't, when somebody has a Taunt up, the Merciless Massacre does not move around like it normally does. So you have to target off. Now, you'll notice here we've got three dots, two, one, two, three, none. So Poggle is a pain because he can cleanse. All these debuffs and, and dots up here can be cleansed by Poggle. So my first target... Typically, because I want to see, okay, we did get an ability block on him. Uh, Brute Alpha will also cleanse, so I'm going to try to get it on him, which we did. So this is a really good start. So a high-potency Vader really helps against the Geonosians. Because if he go, if Brute or Poggle go this turn, they're going to cleanse all this, and you're not going to be able to uh, Culling Blade and take somebody out. Now you see I've gotten Force Crush back up. So what I want to do, Spy is actually my target here. I've got three here, I've got three here. The more dots I can get on somebody, the more likely you're gonna call him Blade. Because remember, G and Ocean share health. So I've got five on Spy, he is the threat here. As long as I've got at least four on Spy, I'm usually good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take him out with the Culling Blade. Boom, he's gone. And then we're, we got one more here, and then he'll get one extra turn before we finish. Unfortunately, I'm stuck under the taunt, so I've gotta do that. All right, now, the Fracture on the Brute. This is where it comes in clutch. This game is over now. All right, there it is. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to stun some. We got one, that's usually, I usually get more. Now here's where Tarkin comes in clutch. They are about to cleanse these debuffs and dots, okay? So I'm gonna try to remove uh, turn meter from these guys. I can throw up the dots, but I really don't need them right now. So I'm gonna try to remove turn meter. It did not work on alpha. Unfortunately, it worked on everybody else. He did not cleanse those, so that was clutch because he was ability blocked. So that's what I mean by there's multiple ones there. If I didn't get the ability blocks from Vader, then I'd either have to fracture somebody outside of Brute, which I don't want to do, or I've got the rain that can remove turn meter and keep them from removing those uh, buffs and dots. So he's coming back up, but he's got ability block. I'm not scared there. I'm gonna go ahead and ability block Alpha again. All right, get some shock on him. About to lose Tarkin here, but he did. He he was there to do his job, and he did. Now here comes Force Crush again. Vader's going to get his Merciless again, and this is pretty much game over. 
Go to Merciless, we've got eight total dots up here. We've got nine over here. So this is pretty much a guarantee. I've only got five on Alpha, but at this size Alpha, I should be able to take him out. But I'm gonna wait. And the reason being, cause I'm gonna get another chance to drop Force Crush. So I'll go ahead and hit over here. Go ahead and hit over here. Go ahead and hit over here. Now I got Force Crush coming up. So I'm gonna lay that on Brute. And now that'll put more dots on Alpha and making seven dots on him and a guaranteed hit and he's done and it's game over. We can put it on auto, they'll either die from attacks or from debuffs and dots. Go ahead and let that play out. So you can see where without that fracture in there from Thrawn, you've got to keep hammering on the Brute and taking him out and that sucks. You need to be able to crowd control. Anybody used to play World of Warcraft or any of them type of games, if you understand crowd control, that's how you become successful. I'll do that one more time, but I'm gonna do it without Thrawn or Tarkin and show you how that goes. If you guys have any questions on that, just comment below or come into the Discord and uh, or come to the stream on Twitch because we are on Twitch. We'll go ahead and do this 72K one. He's only got uh, one Zeta, but or two man in this, so you'll see how that works out. Vader will go first, so you'll get a nice start, but it is a lot more difficult to get through. So again, he gets the first turn, Force Crush, Merciless, and then we'll make our way around. We'll go ahead and hit him, then we'll target somebody else. And go to Poggle, see if I can get the ability block. I did not go to see if we can get the ability block here. Okay, we did get it on Alpha. I'm gonna Force Crush again. I've got three dots on Spy. I've got five on Spy now. So I can go ahead and take him out. It's a much lower team than I just fought too, though. All right, now. There's your taunt. We're stuck under the taunt, right? Did you see it back there? The stun could help here, but if it doesn't land... Okay, we did get it on Alpha, but Poggle is about to cleanse. And I cannot off-target. And I'm losing Palpatine fast from the counters and everything else. Here comes Poggle. The AI should... Yep, there's the cleanse. Okay, now we're stuck outside of it. See where I'm in trouble there. Now, Merciless did come up fast enough, so we may be able to get through this. But being stuck behind that taunt is an absolute nightmare. Let's see, two dots there. We're gonna see if we can get Force Crush to come up one more time. There it is, just before Poggle's gonna go again, and we got it just in time. So we go ahead and take out Alpha. Still not a guaranteed win because we're stuck behind Brute here. They could counter me to death here. See how much closer that is, guys? That's why I like Palpatine, or uh, Thrawn for the safety valve. Oh, boom, yep, yeah, we're not gonna get it. And he missed. That's what I'm talking about, right? That being able to go around Brute is a huge, huge part of that. And then Brute's always countering. Remember that, Brute, when he's got a taunt, counters. Whenever he's attacked, he's, he's countering. So he's gonna be doing extra damage on you. So again, that's why uh, I do it that way. Anyway, guys, that is how you counter the Geonosians with the Vader squad. I highly recommend Thrawn and as another safety valve to remove turn meter if you want. If you're not comfortable with it, throw in Tarkin and then even more so you can throw in a tank. Thank you guys. Come see us on Twitch at Fort Mort 4 111. We're having a dirty good time. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Shut up and sit down.